Okay, hi everyone. This <laughs> is uh, Ronnie. That didn't quite work. Let's try that again. Keep. Okay, good. You're just gonna keep. Going. Yeah, of course you just keep going. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Aubrey. Yeah. And we're here. Where are we? We are in Thailand. Where about? Koh Phangan. I'm mm -hmm. sitting on like a million. You okay? No. Then you've got cushions on you. Okay. Bad about this. There we go. So, um, how are you enjoying it here? Is yeah. it your first time? Yes. It's your first time to the island too? It's my first time to Koh Phangan. Yeah. I've been to Thailand before. Um, what are you enjoying about it? <sighs> hmm. Definitely the sun and the water and the beach and the fruit. And the heat, because it's kept me raw. It's too hot to even want to eat anything cooked. <laughs> okay, so you think that being here has helped you stay raw for the last five, six days? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because, just because of the heat and the, the fruit that's here? Mm-hmm. And what's been your impression of, like, the fruit and stuff? Like, do you like it so far? Well, when we were in Bangkok, the pineapple was my favorite. Yeah. I ate, like, two days of pineapple. <laughs> and the mangoes are really good. What else have we had? We have a watermelon we have yet to try. Yeah, we've not tried that yet. Oh, we did get some chempadak the other day, and that was awesome. Yeah, I thought that was really good. Yeah, and I tried mango steam for the first time, finally. And the passion fruit is just like beyond amazing here. What else? What else have we the had? The orange juice? Oh my god. It's not even oranges though, it's like they're tangerines, aren't they? Okay. I feel like they're tangerines, so mm. it's like even Spl sweeter. Splitting hairs a little bit, but yeah. <laughs> They're different. Okay, okay. Um, and the dragon fruit that Derek had was also really the good. The tropical climate and everything? Yeah. You enjoy that? Yeah, well, I mean, today's like exceptionally hot. Yeah, I mean, I got really burned. I don't know, you can probably see. Yeah. But. I'm burned all over. Yeah, you're really burned. You got like second degree burns. Like, on your yeah, head. and I've, I've made that mistake before and I just made that mistake again. So <laughs> you tried I to blame it on me. To. Well, the thing is that I, I just wanted to go and get any kind of, any kind of sun cream. You were burned before. I, so I just wanted to get any kind of sun cream, but Aubrey was saying, no, 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 I'm not, you, you need to get a, like, natural alternative or whatever. So I said, okay. But that did lead me to be in the sun a little bit longer. Maybe not a lot longer, but no, and you, like I waiting said, for the natural sun cream to, to turn up. We went to the pool for two days in a row in <laughs> Bangkok. Before you decided you needed sunscreen. I wasn't, I wasn't that bad though at this point. I wasn't but then you bad. get into the sun here when it's hotter and you have the reflection of the water. Yeah. It's intensely hot here. It's very uh, intense. Actually, in the middle of the but day. But it's like, I would much rather be super hot and sweaty and like just, you know, grasping for bottles of water than to be putting on millions of layers and having to stay inside. Okay. That's I'm, just how I'm, I feel about it. Yeah, I mean, I'm. I don't know, like, I don't know how much I prefer the really warm, the tropical climate. I'm not, I don't know 100% because I've not lived here for a long period of time. Maybe I'll really adapt to it and, and uh, I'm kind of so used to the other way that I don't think about it that much. I really think that we, we're meant to be under shade anyway, regardless. Under shade. Yeah, because you feel really good under the shade, like and under the trees. Mm -hmm. That feels really nice. It does feel really nice. Being exposed to the sun yeah. is, you know. <clears throat> Even just walking from where we're at to the strip of shops on the street, like just the street, walking on the street is super hot. Yeah, really hot. We stopped in a 7-Eleven for a reprieve and into the air conditioning for like a hot minute and got a bottle of water and it felt yeah. really nice. So this area is Sri Tanu, Kopanyang. We're going to be here for what, four weeks? Yeah, about five weeks. Something like that. If any of you are coming out here, <laughs> then you know, feel free to, or if, I don't know, uh, come out if you like. If you're coming, you know, I'm not, I'm not telling you that, that you should come <laughs> here or whatever, but you can if you want, obviously. And there's lots of places to stay. I don't know if the fruit's going to get better or whatever. More fruit's going to come, or durian's going to come, whatever. I don't know. You can research it yourself. And, um, well, we did see some durian and gong sala yesterday. We'll, we'll be here. We'll be happy to meet up with people and do 
whatever, Fruit Lux or whatever. We're doing that tomorrow. Yeah, we're going to a Fruit Luck tomorrow. So that should be interesting. And we met someone from the UK Fruit Fest this morning, mm -hmm. Michael, who ran past us. Mm -hmm. It was completely drenched in sweat. <laughs> and it was like, what, 9am or something? Yeah, it was completely more drenched in sweat than I've never seen anyone sweat in my life, even out of the <laughs> sauna. He and even like, then he was like, oh, you should see me after I'm done. It looks like I've had a shower and we're like, no, you already look, look like Never that. mind a shower, you look like you've had a bath. <laughs> you just come out of a bath. Anyway, um, so yeah. So, so yeah, we're, I mean, you can come out here, I don't know, like have a look around. Does this appeal? <laughs> right. It's a lot of white people, by the way. Stop. <laughs> it, it kind of is. Yeah, it In is. this particular area, it's a lot. I guess well, it's this European. Is a resort. Yeah, vegans. Yeah. This is a kind of veganish area. A lot of vegan places. I tried a papaya salad for the first time today, and it was. Yeah, so the papaya good. salad. Yeah. So, so good. Um, so, yeah, so we're back together. Yeah, it's we been seven weeks. We weren't, a, we weren't broken up, but we were apart seven weeks. Seven weeks. Good to see me again. <laughs> Didn't you say it felt like you were seeing a celebrity or something yeah. like when I got it's back? Yeah, funny. That, that was funny when, we, when you first arrived. It did feel like I was, it felt a bit strange. It did feel like kind of a starstruck feeling. <laughs> Like this is someone that I've met, that I've been watching on YouTube or something, or <laughs> Instagram that I've just met in real life for the first time, so it was kind of, it was kind of weird. But I think also you had changed. Yeah, I feel You had changed, different. yeah. You, you went through some different some stuff when you were away, yeah. Yeah, I did a lot of self-work, and I came back more vibrant, more centered, just kinda, happier. Yeah, well you're happier to be here as well. Yeah, very happy today. Yeah, you weren't very happy in Glasgow. Um, Ugh, I'm not very happy anywhere that it's cold. <laughs> so, plans after this? Do we have any plans? I don't know. Mm. We've got up until, well, maybe, you know, depending. I kind of th th thought it would be good to be here to save money, and I'm not sure, <laughs> I'm not sure if we're accomplishing that. <laughs> I don't, I'm not sure if we're accomplishing that all that well, but... Um, Aubrey's helping out a lot with the food festival now. Yeah. And you're also helping people with travel. Yeah, I had my first consultation advice. the other day and um, it went really well. I've been traveling like my entire life and I've just like, through my experiences of traveling, I've usually been the one to be in charge of booking all the accommodations, booking the flights, booking the ground transportation, booking the, the water transportation, like, Every little detail has been pretty much like completely covered because I'm the one that's like, we're doing this, we're going here, this yeah, is yeah. what's happening, like these are, you yeah. know, go to this website, do it like this. I even, our friend Derek is here with us and I would like that's video right. call him and be like, go to this website, now click this button, now click this button, you know. So I did a consult the other day with some friends, um, with someone who had like reached out, I had posted it on my social media saying like, hey, if anyone wants some information about the way that you can travel more mm -hmm. frugally, more affordably, with less stress and um, ease, then let me know. I'm offering donation-based um, consultation calls right now just to give you like the tools that I have mm -hmm. to be able to do your own booking. Or if you want to take it a step further and have me help you do the booking, like we can negotiate um, talking to yeah. like a price for that as well because yeah, sure. you can even you know like just completely let go of all responsibility when it comes to the booking and allow me to handle it just like a travel agent you know but like basically yeah it's pretty much it's basically. pretty much just like a travel agent mm. and uh it just makes life a lot easier <laughs> you know yeah so you can reach out to aubrey or, or leave a message below or whatever if you mm -hmm. want some help with uh, travel advice especially if you're going to come out here obviously we know all the mm -hmm. information in a few places that you can maybe try and stay yeah and i don't well. even know how i figured it out that we were going to have to take a boat and a bus <laughs> but i was like well yeah we're yeah. booking this we're booking this we're booking this and you were like pleasantly surprised with the place that i found 
in Thong Sala. It was like a five minute walk from the port where we came off the boat. Yeah, that was a good place. And it was perfect, you know. He even had air conditioning and his own bathroom and everything like that. So, like, right beside, right in the corner from the food market as well. Oh, yeah, that was super excellent. All sorts of food. Yeah. Yeah, so. Um, yeah, so that's what we're up to lately. Yeah, that's what we're doing. <laughs> and um, we're together. <laughs> Is that, you, is that the purpose of this video, just to say that? Maybe. Okay. So... Let everyone know we're together. For yeah, now. all those ladies need to stop messaging me, all those <laughs> many thousands. Uh, and they keep on trying to, trying to steal you from me. From me. Um, yeah, so... What do you think change. about the fruit here? You, okay, so, because you were saying, like... I've always said... No, listen. <laughs> You were saying the fruit in the UK is just as good. Yeah, firstly, I've always said that you can do a raw vegan diet anywhere you go. In my, in my perspective, from where I'm at with it, it's as easy for me to do it in the UK, in the US, Canada, whatever. It's as easy for me to do it these places as is here. And maybe that's not the same for everyone, but I think there's, I've actually known people that have come to Thailand and went fallen off the raw diet because, you know, there's a lot of temptation here. There's a lot of certain places, a lot of vegan restaurants and stuff like that. Tons of vegan places. But also, technically, you know, the fruit is a little bit more limited here in a, in a way because when I go to the different markets around here, and they're quite small, so that's different if you're in a bigger city, but it's mangoes really great mangoes mm -hmm. pineapple we don't you know i have to actually try the pineapple here yet it might be good papaya coconuts mm -hmm. bananas Coconut. and watermelon there's watermelon that's the main things and maybe there's some other things sometimes but you have to think about it like that means we're eating locally like Kinda, this is the yeah, stuff that's yeah. growing here right now in season but it's not as it's not anywhere near as varied as yeah, great variety as you could get in a supermarket in Europe. But the supermarket in Europe is bringing in things that aren't local, aren't in season, just so you can have a bunch of variety. So, and I say yes to that. I say no. yes. <laughs> I, say, I say bring it on, bring it in. Bring it in. Bring us all your best fruit. If I you would don't much rather it, we'll take have it. We're taking it. the local in season fruit that is just like extremely amazingly delicious than mediocre different kinds of fruit. I don't believe it's around. that mediocre, you know, and I don't I I I really uh, feel like I always eat great whatever I go so But that's just your attitude. I know that is the attitude you need to have. <laughs> but it's a good attitude, yeah exactly. If you so, want to be successful it is a good attitude to have. So I like it's better than any cook food regardless, you know? Yeah but I just Thank you. you know I just um yeah, and fruit, at the end of the day, fruit is fruit, it's not drugs, it's not <laughs> stimulating like cooked food, it's not going to do any of those things. So, if you're coming here thinking you'll eat fruit and it'll be like, it'll blow your mind or whatever, you will get that, but that's a rare experience. Well, that's not an all the time well. experience. Chip that was great. That was really good. But it's not an all the time experience, it's like a once in a while, even with mm -hmm. durian and then chip and stuff like that. Every now and again you'll get something amazing, but... The mangoes are amazing, but they're, they're not super amazing. magical, amazing mangoes, mm -hmm. which I've had before, but not, but rarely, you know. So, um, but yeah, I mean, if you're looking for a place to come, there's people here, we're around. Um, maybe it's your time to take some time away. You can contact Aubrey if you need some travel advice and information. Yeah, seriously, let me know because it's like one of my favorite things to do is to get people out the door yeah. on the plane, you know. Yeah. And we're even thinking of offering the same kind of like concierge service for people for the fruit festival. Yeah, we think yeah, it. yeah, we'll probably be offering that. So yeah, yeah. I sh should go a shout out for the fruit festival. We, uh, 140 days from today. Yeah, we have 23-ish spaces left. If you're yeah. interested in coming, you can book a call with me to learn more about it. Go to fruitfest.co.uk slash registration. Join up, you, you'll get the event prospectus and you'll get well, more information, videos and stuff, and then mm -hmm. you can book uh, a call if you like what you see. Yeah. That's basically it. Good. Not a lot of spaces left, so if you want to come, then that's what, where we're at. 
coming anyway, up Anyway, uh, thank you for joining us today. Let us know if you want any other videos like this, if you enjoyed this, if you want if you've missed us, more information <laughs> from Aubrey about what she's doing and how she's doing with this lifestyle. Um, you can follow Aubrey at Aubrey Eats Fruit on yep. Instagram. Instagram. She also has a YouTube channel. Yep. You can search for Aubrey Musoff. Thank you for joining, supporting the channel, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.